All right, so we've got a PC from a client who simply had his motherboard upgraded and he put a new motherboard in and the computer does not pass the post. So let's see what we can do for him. So currently in here is his old motherboard, which apparently works fine. This is the packaging for the new motherboard and that's his old motherboard there. And simply because it didn't have a Wi-Fi, he decided to buy a whole new motherboard. Okay, um, so here it is. Yeah, the giant machine. So I haven't turned it on, so we'll do a live repair. Let's see what we can do, see if we can help them out. So we'll connect a keyboard and mouse. Okay, so one of the screws there is missing. Before even undoing anything, let's plug it in and see what happens. So there's already a Logitech adapter of it there. Okay, the motherboard is turning on. No, ju that's just the light, okay. Indicating there is power. So we'll connect a screen. Ideally, we can use HDMI. Let's do that. Okay, let's bring our monitor up. Monitor is up and running. Okay, let's press the power button. Nothing. I am pressing the power button nothing's happening see if the usb port has a light yes so no no life okay let's have a look what's going on Great. Somebody went with an order. A nice big order. Thank you. So what's wrong with this guy? So that's CPU fan. CPU fan optional. I see. CPU fan 1. All, um, all in one pump fan. Okay, I can see that. Alright, so we're missing one of those. Generally, that's okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Because they're not connected. Shit. you got to be kidding me. Don't tell me that's the only problem. Okay. Really? Is that embarrassing? Okay. Alright, alright. Reset switch. HDD LED. Power LED. Okay bunch of light, you know, the front panel connectors, that's all they are. Just see if they have changed the layout or anything like that. Very quick inspection.
Okay, so they haven't changed as much. They're pretty much standard. It's a bit of a shitty cable. Okay. Come on, what a shitty piece of cable, they just keep coming off. Okay, don't tell me that's the only problem with this, it's such a waste of a video, but anyway. Okay, we got the power LED and SATA LED, hard drive LED, okay, good. What's the one? Okay, this one is reset, good. Kidding me? What kind of plug are these? What a shitty cable this is. It's like needle. Okay, let's get reset in there. Okay. Reset is in. Power is in. Okay. Okay, front power light, negative and a positive. Okay. Shit. I'm assuming it's just going to turn on. Yeah, fucking hell. Uh, maybe, well, they said it didn't pass post, so let's see. I'm waiting for an input on the screen. And still waiting. Okay, nothing yet. I'll bring the LED, front LED, I mean the speaker cable, in case it wants to communicate to us. 
Okay, has not passed the post. Okay, so I'm assuming that's not the issue that they had. They had tried to possibly find the fault. Okay, I'm assuming that's the speaker. Okay, let's power it off. It's not turning off by one press. Keep holding. Okay. Power on. Beep, beep, beep. Could be a ram. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, let's see. Cut the power. Let's see the reaction. Sixteen gig, all right. Okay, so the RAM issue, all right. Now it could be that it doesn't like that slot. Normally, it starts. It starts from the second one. Yeah, no beeps. Hopefully we get only one beep. Still nothing. Let's wait. Oh yeah, one beep. And we have a post. Okay. New processor, which will change the data structure of the storage space for firmware TPM. If we didn't apply TPM function, yeah. reset. Okay, we will, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. I'm going to reset because it's a different motherboard altogether. Okay, I've pressed. New processor, okay. But it's a new motherboard, not a new processor. I'll connect a USB keyboard, maybe that will help. There we go. Still going. Yep. Okay. Okay. F1 Ryzen 7 5800X Nice See if the hard drive is detected uh, This one has no hard drive So I'm assuming this has a Yeah, M.2 2280 or NVMe Okay yeah, WD, 250 gig SSD, okay. So that should just boot normal. Of course, drivers should have to, will have to be reinstalled for this motherboard. Let's see. There we go. I'll just hide the screen. Maybe some user information there. Yeah, Windows detected new hardware change. It's, yep, getting devices ready, which is good. And we'll reboot after this.
Okay. Computer is up and running. Okay. Uh, okay, so they got a one terabyte hard drive as well. Okay. So this one has Wi Fi, so we'll connect it to our internet. It's currently connected. Okay, great. Windows automatically activated too. Nice. So that's going to be it for this, I think. Um, anything else you can think of? Is this a motherboard where the capacitors blow um The MOSFETs burn because of the capacitor or something plugged in the wrong way? I don't know. Okay. It's a bit dodgy installation. Screw missing there. We're just supposed to keep it held down. Okay. Screw missing there. Screw missing under the SSD. Okay. Anyway, you already did this, you know, could have done a better job. Hopefully we won't destroy it, so we'll just put the remaining screws and whatnot that may be missing. These are all for the laptops. Put something for this um, cover there, otherwise it's going to cause problems. The GPU may be slightly coming off when it's sideways. Okay, at least the plate does not move. all good I think that's gonna be it I'm done yeah it's a GTX so RTX 3070 nice Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.